What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today more customization for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Today we're going to be talking camera, and I'm going to show you guys a hidden camera app that Samsung released that doesn't come on your phone by default, but that you can actually download and enable and allow you to take better pictures and make it easier to edit your photos. Before we get into that, let me go ahead and do a case check today. I do have a brand new case today, which I am going to make a full video about because I like it a lot. Uh, this is the Moss case. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. M-O-U-S, soft touch back. It looks absolutely amazing with the white phone. The only thing I can say is I wish they didn't have the P-shaped cutout, but everything else looks cool. These blue accents, it's just an amazingly nice case. I'm gonna talk more about that in a bit. Let's go ahead and get started though, talking about the Expert Raw camera app from Samsung. So this is the app that we're gonna be talking about today. It's right there, Expert Raw. Now, of course, you probably use your standard camera that you have on your device and I don't know, just bring something in here for fun just to take a photo of. This is my B&O Play speaker that I use here at the office. And uh, you probably use your regular you know, camera for most things. And if you wanna get a little fancy, of course, there's lots of other modes, including pro mode, which you know, something that you probably use if you're really into photography. You got all these various uh, toggles over here on the side, change the exposure, shutter speed, ISO, all that kind of stuff. And that's great. But one thing that you can't do with the regular Samsung camera app is you cannot shoot in raw mode. Now, for those of you who don't know a lot about photography, raw basically allows you to pull extra detail, highlights, shadows out of your photos by editing it in your favorite software. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Adobe Lightroom, but there's a lot of other free versions of these types of software for photo editing out there. So if you wanna get this on your device, you do have to go to the Galaxy Store and download it from there. So I'm gonna to go to the Galaxy Store and I'll show you guys where you can find it. We'll talk about Adobe Lightroom in a second as well, which is actually built into the Expert Raw app. Just go ahead and search for Expert Raw and uh, it should be the first result here. It has great reviews in the Galaxy Store. I love it. I've been using it on my device. I started using it on the S21 Ultra. Now this isn't uh, available for every Samsung phone. It's available for the S22 series, the S21 Ultra. It should be available for the Galaxy Z Fold 3 very soon. Um, basically you can get, you know, creative controls, all kinds of cool stuff. And the most important thing, of course, is that you can, of course, get those raw photos, which you then edit later on. Now, one of the reasons that makes this app better than other raw apps that have been out there for other devices is that a lot of times on phones, when you do a raw shot, you only get a single take. It doesn't use any of the computational photography that your phone is capable of, but the expert raw app actually takes all those extra shots that your phone would normally take and combines them into one by using all the smarts from the processor to create a shot that you can still edit using raw capability in something like Lightroom. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what the app looks like. Once you download the app, you can open it from your launcher. Oops, I forgot to open it. Oops, a little crash there from GoodLock Launcher. Sometimes that does happen. So here is the Expert Raw app. You'll notice that it looks very, very similar to the uh, app that we saw when we were in the regular camera in pro mode. Uh, there are a couple of things here though. Histogram is turned on by default up here. You can also turn that off in the top corner. Uh, you've got toggles here for your metering. So you can change it to whatever you want uh, in terms of how the light is metered at the end of the day. Uh, center weighted I think is the default there for you. You got your settings of course over there, timer, all that kind of stuff. And you can control focus. You can do manual focus, white balance, exposure, speed, ISO, all that kind of stuff. And if you jump into the settings, there are a couple of really useful settings here to be aware of. You can do high efficiency RAW. RAW photos are very large by their nature because of course there's all that extra data being stored so that you can edit them and pull out those extra details in your favorite editing app. If you do high efficiency RAW, it allows you to store them in a slightly smaller file size. The standard RAW files are between 20 and 30 megabytes on average. I've tried this and only gives you maybe one or two, three megabyte savings. So I, I really haven't left that enabled. Auto HDR, location tagging. Tracking autofocus, obviously, if you want to use video, you might want to have that. Grid lines on, which I've talked about before. Uh, shooting methods lets you control, you know, taking a photo with the volume key. You can use voice commands. Shutter sound, and then you do need permissions, of course, for the app because it's a secondary app aside from the stock camera app. You got to grant it some permissions to do various things here. Um, so I want to show you guys a couple of just uh, pictures that I did take. So here is a photo I took. You can see the difference. The raw photo, it's 20.3 megabytes, still 4,000 by 3,000. It says raw at the top here. 
Um, this is the raw photo. It also takes a standard uh, JPEG file. This is a 1.7 megabytes uh, JPEG file. And then this is the one, let me see if I can scroll over. Well, actually, let me go to Google Photos here. And I have them stored in here. So this, if you scroll down, you'll see this is the raw photo, 21 megabytes. Scroll over, this is the one that the raw app took at 1.8 megabytes. This is one I took with the standard camera. So even just, in my opinion, there is a little bit of a difference between the standard camera JPEG and the expert raw JPEG. Now I didn't edit this one at all actually. This is just straight out the camera. This is the just the JPEG taken with the expert raw app. But you can even do even more if you do do some if you do some do 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 some editing. Uh, you can do even more with that. So if you go into expert raw here earlier, I did some editing on this photo I took of the Oppo Find X5 Pro, and uh, I'll show you guys the differences here in Adobe Lightroom. Now when you open a photo or take a photo in Expert Raw, it's gonna offer you the ability to edit it in Adobe Lightroom, which you can then download the Adobe Lightroom for Samsung app, which is also in the Galaxy Store. I already have a Creative Cloud subscription, so I use Lightroom. If you don't, you can also download your raw DNG file and edit it in something that's free, like Snapseed, uh, and get some great photos. So here is one of the uh, Obo Find X5 Pro that I edited in Lightroom to bring out some of the contrast, uh, and just also get that white look kind of really sparkling. And uh, you guys can probably tell the difference here. I didn't actually upload this to my Google Cloud, I don't think. This is just the standard JPEG. But you can kind of see here, if you look at it, this one a little bit darker. This is the one that was straight out of the camera right here. And then you can see here kind of the highlights and everything pulled out. Anything that has like a lot of whites and like a little bit of black or a lot of black and a little bit of white is gonna benefit from doing some basic editing in something like Lightroom. Lightroom is really easy to use if you wanna do things like pull out highlights, shadows, black levels, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, uh, editing in RAW using Expert RAW is a great experience. If you're into photography at all and you take a lot of photos with your Galaxy S22 Ultra, this is an app that's gonna give you unlimited possibilities uh, to get some great shots with your device. Uh, I would recommend not using it obviously for everything unless you have a 512 or one terabyte S22 Ultra because they are big files. You'll have to offload them somewhere because it's going to fill up your storage you know, quickly taking these raw shots. But for really important shots and things you really want to capture and edit later on, this is a great way to improve your photography game uh, on the S22 Ultra. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. We still have the March giveaway going on if you guys are interested. I'll drop the link below. It ends in three days, so coming up pretty soon if you want to check that out. Also drop the link below to the Moss case. And as always, my icon pack, my wallpaper, if you guys are interested. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.